I'm gonna tell you honestly, I'm having so much fun. And this is the one drum purchase that my wife, um, we've been together 48 years, so it's almost as long as I've been playing. This is the first time she ever said, no, you better go back and get that again. So, <laughs> um, If you could describe your experience in the Shed Cam Club in five words or less, what would you say? I think I got miracle results. Wow. Yeah. It's honestly, uh, not saying that to be nice. Um, I have never had this type of quantum jump in my playing. And it got so frustrated with playing about 10 years ago. I, I basically stopped. I might have got on my set maybe once a month. Mm. And when I first started, the rust definitely showed. Yeah. And, you know, everybody was extremely supportive. Uh, that first cohort um, was amazing, yeah. uh, great people. And somewhere around December, beginning of January, something clicked in my head. Yeah. And uh, to the point where I went to audition for a band and actually is probably the, the best band, rock and roll band in this area. Okay. And I got the job. Wow. Um, which I was amazed. I'm not a performer. I play drums. You know what I mean? <laughs> and so, um, but my confidence was 150. Yeah. And, um, but I got to honestly tell you, I'm 64 now. I'm in my 65th year of life and a a working drummer. This is a band that plays, they said once a week, but three, two or three times a week. Yeah. Another thing, I learned 30, 40 songs. I, I learned 40 songs in 35 days. Never was able to do that. Yeah. I'm, I, I credit the camp with that. Yeah. My ability to absorb new information has just, you know, gone straight to the roof. I, I can always play, mm -hmm. but it's a confidence thing. It's a, it's a total package kind of thing. Physically, you might be able to do these things. That's great. Yeah. But to be able to do them in front of people, be able to do it under pressure, people ask you to make changes, uh, to absorb a lot of information very quickly, to understand what's going on around you with the other players. And uh, you're not just making noise, you are actually part of the music. Yeah. See, I, I learned that this past year, to be honest with you. What, what would you say is the main thing that you have noticed that has changed about your drumming since beforehand to now? I attack it now. Um, I play with confidence, and especially in front of people. Uh, I am I'm attacking the drums. I'm not just trying to think about what I'm doing and play. Somehow along the way, I've learned to release it. You got to let it go at some point and just feel what you're doing and play what you, you know. You, and, and I wasn't upset that I had to slow down, go back. So by the way, that's pure genius, by the way. And I find it now harder to play slow than it is to play at speed because you really have to be meticulous and right on point. But it helped me to space my uh, hits um, appropriately. And then when you speed up, that spacing is still there. Um, but yeah, um, now I can absorb these concepts. I move through it quickly and I'm enjoying myself. Uh, it, it's given me the confidence to play the way I can play and enjoy what I'm doing. Um, so yeah, no longer self-conscious about it. Um, when I started out, I was kind of, you know, slow and methodical and I was cool with it. Now I come into those Saturday morning uh, Zoom meetings, you know, ready to learn from everybody else, yeah. uh, ready to learn from my mistakes and ready to move on to the next challenge. Yeah, That's I'm having a ball, man. It's, this is the most, most fun I've had playing the drums since I started playing drums in 1970. Wow, and here we are in yeah. 2024. Look at yeah. that.